How are we doing everybody? Right, you'll notice there hasn't been a lot of content on my channel recently. Uh, unfortunately, I've got some sad news. Um, on the 17th of February, my mum died. Um, she had a long battle with cancer. And yep, she lost her life on the 17th of February. So as you can imagine, not a lot of content's been updated on this page, uh, videos in general, and content on the Facebook page, because there's been a lot of things to sort. And it's been very, very hard. Um, so I thought I'd just do a video just to explain why there has not been a lot of content or new content added on the YouTube channel and videos on Facebook. It's been the odd, odd live video that I've popped on Facebook. A lot of people, if you are on my Facebook channel, you'll be aware of what's obviously happened. But it just dawned on me that YouTube, those of you that follow the channel here that are not on my Facebook page, will have no idea as to why there's been lack of content. And I've been hearing various different comments posted around that, you know, always oh, obviously not very busy if he's doing no videos to upload or he's not bothered anymore. It's all rubbish. The reason why is because my mother lost her life. And I think it's fair that I put this video on to explain. So, yep, she had terminal cancer and lost her life on the 17th of February. It's been extremely hard for me and the family. Uh, her funeral was last Monday, so Monday of last week. Last Monday, Monday of last week. Um, we said our final goodbyes to, to our mum. So as a family, we're absolutely destroyed. It's been very, very hard. And uh, I'm just happy now that she's at rest, she's at peace, and she's no longer in pain. And that's the main thing. Now, what I want to do is, well, I'm organising a charity fundraiser, an online fundraiser. On the 13th of May, I'm going to be DJing all day between 9 and 6 on the Technics Mark 7s all day to raise as much money as possible for the volunteers, the charity who looked after my mum all the way through her, uh, her stay in the hospital when she, until she obviously sadly lost her life. So... The, I believe they're called the Butterfly Volunteers, who we have here in Colchester, Essex, but they're all different locations of the um, Ipswich as well. They literally did anything they could to make sure that my mum was comfortable. And if anyone wasn't there, which was quite rare, the family, we were there all the time. But they just they made sure that they could do anything they possibly could to help. Even doing things like they would knitted blankets to other patients that would help other cancer patients with... They gave one of them to my mum, there was flowers, all sorts of things. Really, really nice gesture and nice people. And the fact that they don't get paid for this, I mean, I I couldn't imagine how hard it is for these people to do the job that they do and not get paid for it as well. The amount of emotion that goes into it and it, it absolutely, it's just, it's incredible. So I want to earn as much money as possible for this charity, these volunteers that looked after my mum until the very end. So on the 13th, guys, pencil it on your calendars. It's gonna be posted 100% on Facebook Live. It's gonna be on YouTube. I'm gonna be streaming my entire DJ set live using Technics Mark 7s playing through vinyl. I've now got behind me in my corner, you can just about make out the top of the uh, the cube stand that's there. But all of, my, all of my records are here in the workshop. My own personal turntables, my Mark 7s are here as well, already rocked up and ready to go. It's going to be streaming on Mixcloud live. I'm going to pay for the subscription just to do this one event. There's going to be live chats. I may very well do some giveaways as well, whether it's slip mats, posters, etc., depending on where you're located as well. And my aim with all of this, like I say, is to earn as much money for this charity as possible. Now, this isn't a plea or one of these, give as much as you can, or you must do this. I'm not about that at all. But these people really do deserve as much as possible. They really do. I want to make it so that at least everybody on this channel, if you do watch the feed, even if you don't and you want to donate, a pound, guys. That's all I'm asking for, one pound. Okay? One pound with the amount of followers that I have via Facebook, on the business page there, it's like six and a half, seven thousand people. Obviously, the YouTube channel has thousands of people as well. That's a lot of money, right? Seven thousand people, seven grand, seven thousand pounds to these people that do not get paid to do the work that they do. Watching people suffer, watching people get to the end of their life. It, it must be a, a horrible job. I, I could not do it. It was hard enough with me and the rest of the family seeing my mum in pain and other people in the hospital 
in pain going through the same process, knowing that there's no light at the end of the tunnel as far as them recovering and going home. My mum went into hospital. They thought she had an infection and she never came out. Um, you know, that was separate to the cancer. So only when, we, only when she was in there that we spoke to doctors and then realised when we were told that we're looking end of life, she was given 72 hours to live and that's pretty much what happened. She went in, she lost consciousness, she was rolling around, She wasn't at least she wasn't awake and yeah, the inevitable happened and she lost her life. Cancer is a horrible thing. I know a lot of people that have gone through cancer. There's people every day I see popping up. Facebook, uh, it's, it's terrible. So these people deserve all the money they can get. So all I'm asking guys is if you do want to get involved, a pound. That's all I'm asking for is a pound. There's a lot of people on my page, a lot of people subscribe to YouTube. And uh, if anybody can do that, that's a lot of money for this charity and I would really appreciate it. So look, I'm, I'm very sorry for the lack of content. I know before it was because I was extremely busy. My work is very busy. I, I still get through between three and four pairs of these decks techniques in general every week okay as we speak right now i have a pair of mark twos on my bench there's a pair of m5gs in front of this bench here a pair of 1210 m5gs that i've literally just finished there's a pair of white techniques that i've wrapped another pair of mark twos and two other pairs of techniques sitting behind me on another mobile workbench all here within the next week and a half that are being looked at there's a lot to go through and it's a lot of hard work and juggling work with what happened over the last month or so it's been extremely difficult um, so my emphasis has been on my work making sure that my keep my customers happy we set deadlines for my customers and obviously i have to keep those deadlines i can't just stop and record a video um, involving either things like editing and all the usual bits so that's why a lot of my recent videos have just been me turning the camera on saying hello doing the bits and just popping them straight on because i've not had the time to do the editing um, that'll all be changing. There's another video going up shortly. Um, I've recorded a video on a pair that I'm working on for a very good friend of mine who owns a radio station in, in, um, in Essex. Very, very well known online radio station. Um, yeah, so that'll be the only last video that you should have without any editing. So yeah, I thought I'd just, just do this video and upload this just to make everybody aware of the situation, why I've not been online. Um, but rest assured, business is busy <laughs> not going anywhere anytime soon guys um, i'm fully booked up at the moment until july there's july bookings that have come through today that i need to pop on the calendar there's already a couple of dates that have gone for july um, normally six to eight months in advance for those of you that are wanting to book in with me and you are based within the uk you're more than welcome to do that through the website so justtechnics.co.uk you're going to get a response back to me it may not be straight away but it will be within 24 hours 48 hours okay and obviously the quickest way to get hold of me is by giving me a call. Um, but yeah, so pop it in your diaries, 13th of May. My family done extremely well at the moment. My brother and my sister got together. They created a GoFundMe page. They already are now. If I go to the crowdfunding page now, the current money that they've managed to raise just from what they've done on here is £1,338. It's 892% higher than the target that they originally raised for. They aimed for £150 and they've now got 74 supporters at nearly £1,400, which is incredible. And the, the people, the amount and the things that people are putting on, unbelievable. And thank you so much to anybody that's watching this video that has given to the private post, because there are a few people I know that have done so. So thank you very much. My one will be completely separate. I was going to originally use this link to raise money with this charity for this link. Um, my brother, I believe, is sending this amount of money over to the charity, I believe, the end of this month. So this link, in theory, won't be there anymore because it will be used and the money will go straight through to the uh, to the charity. So I need to be creating a fresh um, GoFundMe or Just Giving or GoFundMe page. I think it's Just Giving. Yes, just JustGiving.com. There'll be a fresh JustGiving.com link on the page so when you will join there'll be a web camera set up there'll be a direct audio feed i'll have a microphone plugged in as well the entire day's vinyl set will be recorded so look any train wreck mixes because it's they're mark seven some mixes are going to be a bit ropey i'm the first person to say this but if there's any train wrecks if there are any issues any skips any jumps it's all going to be recorded live but the other good thing about this as well 
obviously the main thing being the charity and earning money for what for my mother um but the other good thing about doing this video which i thought of a little while ago was those people that follow my videos on here or just people in general that are on the fence about the Technics Mark 7s, you will be able to judge what they're like to use in live, in the mix, because I'm going to be DJing an entire day, a working day, using just Mark 7s. So Mark 7s and a Reloop RMX60, that's the mixer that I have in here. I've just installed an InnoFader PNP3. Uh, which is if you don't know what an interfader is, an interfader is a digital crossfader, digital optical crossfader, designed purely for turntablists that like freedom to move the cut-ins and curvature of the actual slider itself and the tension adjustment. It's more like a best way of describing it is like a pioneer version of their um, of their fader, but the Magvel fader with just with much, 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 much more scope for customization, which is why I love it. They're the best fader you can buy. Um, if anyone obviously wants more information on InnoFader, I'm more than happy to do a video on this at some point as well, which I probably will do anyway, because I'm, I'm a massive fan of them. Massive shouts go out to Ollie at Scratch Pro Audio for continually supplying me with, well, with my account with the, the InnoFader. But yeah, so like I've just said, um, the date once again will be the 13th of May. I'd love to do it this month. I truly would. But after looking at my calendar and the work that's on and not just the amount of work, but the involvement of work that I have to complete in with all of these bookings, practically every booking for the remainder of this month is vinyl wraps, LEDs. Um, and it's not just a template that I cut and stick on top of a turntable. These are all hand cut. You'll all be aware of this. So a hand cut vinyl wrap that's custom made specifically for each plimp. So each job is labor intensive. It's a lot of work involved. And uh, I just cannot fit it in this month. As much as I'd love to, I honestly cannot. So, yep, put it in your dates and the diaries, guys. Uh, the 13th of May, there will be a link that I will post on the subscription page on here and also just on the timeline feed on YouTube. The same thing will be going for Facebook. I'll put an actual physical event on Facebook, an event page. On the event page at the time, there'll be the link to the description for the video with Mixcloud once I've set the account up there. There'll be a few test runs that I'll do with the audio, but obviously you're not going to be seeing this. Once I'm happy with everything, then we'll be going ahead at nine o'clock on the dot on the 13th of May. So let's go for it, guys, and let's try and get as much money as possible for these awesome volunteers that looked after my mum until the very end. So 13th of May, nine o'clock, one pound, guys. That's all I'm asking. Please, they absolutely, they truly deserve it. So we'll leave it there. Thank you ever so much for everybody's continued support. For those of you that know about the situation on Facebook as well, thank you so much. And there are people on my page that have already offered to donate early and it, thank you, that's all I can say. So just bear with me. More information will follow if you're on Facebook. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much. And uh, the links will follow. And we will see I'll try and stream it through YouTube through Mixcloud as well. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll speak to you all very soon. Take it easy.